And with NHL-ready talent as a focus, that's how we'll take a look at our players to watch. And for the Toronto Marlies, a familiar name for Leaf fans, Matt Fratton. And the Ice Dogs broke through on the score sheet. This is the second time in three games, Ed, that they've scored very early at the Meridian Centre. Just took 57 seconds for Hayden McCool to find the back of the net. Ellie has Thomason going back door, couldn't get him the puck, and Mikulovic there to relieve the pressure, and he will pick out Knott, who's thinking opportunity. Short heading to goes between the legs. Oh, he scores! Are there a couple teams in the NHL that, I mean, they just love their OHL players? I mean, it's not that the scouting budget is cut and they're not seeing Western League and Quebec League and NCAA players, but Dallas and LA, two teams in particular, really seem to like their OHL players. Stopped, one hands one back to Jurisky, who got a shot away, didn't get through, spinning his born of all, gets the angle inside, great move, scores! He showed the patience of a veteran, Mikel Bordeval has made it one nothing Bulldogs. Anthony DePrusia did score on Thursday, and it was a point you were making. You said it was only a matter of time before Verhege and DePrusia would spin their magic. Moments later, they scored, and Anthony DePrusia, A, has got to put the puck in the net, and B, probably has to be one of those leaders to step up like Brendan Perlini was alluding to with Al. Mercer. Haggard. Import from Denmark, tipped towards the net by Graham Dunn. Spinning centers with out front, they score! The Meridian Center officially open! And welcome back to the David Braley Athletic and Recreation uh, Center. Halftime just finishing up Mohawk with a 40-36 lead. A surprise, but when you look at the statistics, Amy, we took a good look at the statistics, not a real surprise. Boy, really, Matt Fendel has been outstanding. Real Dumont's norm is one of the few returning veterans for the Hamilton Bulldogs. They have a number of new players, and on trending last night with uh, Mike Forch and Steven Ostashevitz talked about some of the new players and the new blood that's been infused for the Hamilton Bulldogs. Paul Fixter, coach of Sudbury, got fined $7,500 for an altercation with a reporter from the Sioux St. Marie Greyhounds. We can't play that footage for you because the reason he got suspended was for swearing at the reporter. Post-game scrum, Sudbury in a losing streak, a frustrated coach comes unglued. You understand how he's feeling at the time, but you can't have be swearing. Boney will give it up. Red path with a jumper, no. And a big rebound by Fennel. Hunt double teamed. Hunt in all sorts of trouble. Red path with a steal. Boney uncontested to the basket with a flush. And Mohawk wants the call. A timeout to talk things over as McMaster's taking control of this game. All right, thanks very much, John. I'm going to also add, shine up your giant belt buckle. You've got a belt buckle the size of a WWE Championship belt that you're not showing on air tonight. I no. just wanted to let people no, know no. that. Probably tonight's matchup between the Bulldogs and the Marlies features probably the most NHL-ready talent for both teams, as a lot of teams have had shuffling of rosters and a lot of upwards and downwards movement between themselves and the parent club.